Okay, well, you know, I think it's time to go ahead and just start a new game here. But, it's not going to be just a new game that I'm starting. It's going to be an entire new playlist. Um, a, a kind of roguelike Mega Mix playlist where I'm going to be jumping around from various roguelike to roguelike. And I won't be making individual playlists for all of them. Um, I'm only going to be doing a couple videos for some of them just to show them off. Mostly because I'm not very good at all these roguelikes. There's... I mean, you guys should notice by now that the games I play, I'm not exactly good at. And uh, roguelikes, I'm definitely not good at. You'll never see me beat a roguelike, I don't think, uh, and get to the end of it, learn all the tricks and everything like that. But, you know, we have fun charging to our deaths, I think, and to our inevitable doom. Um, this game is Caves of Cud. It is a wasteland, post-apocalyptic type roguelike, I think it bills itself as, and other people have called it um, from reading the description. I've not managed to make it very far in this game, but it's um, it's pretty interesting, I, I have to say. There's all types of various options that you can see here before we jump into the game. Um, you can you can kind of remove some of the monotony of the micromanaging that can go on in this game, like have it set to automatically drink and eat your food, to disassemble the scrap that you pick up, um, to automatically pick up valuable important items just in case you don't you know, you don't want to skip over them or anything. You know, I will say that we can auto-pick up when hostiles are nearby. Hopefully that doesn't screw me over too bad. Ask before moving to the world map. Yeah, there's a world map that you can travel on. Um, it's quite massive. It's easy to get lost. All other types of uh, tweaks here that you can go through. I'm not going to change anything. Some performance tweaks and some debug tweaks. And uh, we could enable unfinished and pre-release content. But, you know, I don't think that's very fair for this game yet. Um, to, to showcase their unfinished work. They've got more than enough finished stuff here. Um, and if you want to see it, you can always follow the links down below. Download the game yourself and uh, go through it there. I'm going to go ahead and just dive into the new game here. And there are two different genotypes in character creation. If you start with the true man, you get higher starting attributes, all this stuff. You can read it and you can rebuke robots. I haven't actually bumped into any robots yet, but I guess they're out there. And we can just put our hand up and tell the damn walking mechanical monstrosities to turn around and go away. Um, a mutated human, extremely powerful if you choose your starting abilities um, and kind of stack your character, I guess. It's fun. The mutated human is the easiest one by far, I think. It's the type of character that I've made it farthest with. But we're going to actually start off with a true man. And I don't know the best way to pump up your stats, but I'm going to bump pretty much all of these top starting ones up to 20. Toughness determines your hit points, you can see down there. Extremely important. Um, <clears throat> you'll die very easy if you have low hit points. I don't really know much about willpower and ego. I guess, you know, you can read down here and uh, it'll tell you what it does, but I haven't found much use for them in the game yet. I'm sure they come into play later on with other with skills and abilities and stuff. But we've got our we've got these abilities set just the top four set to twenty. We'll be able to carry about three hundred pounds with twenty strength. Our agility will be decent for um using pistols and, and rifles and stuff like that. For dodging and rolling out of the way. Toughness, that gives us a, a decent amount of hit points twenty to get the job done. And intelligence will give us skill points every time we level up. I think the higher your intelligence, yeah, the more skill points you get. So obviously you could probably bump that really high off the bat if you wanted to have the best character possible further down the road, I guess. We're not going to live that long. Um, these are the Arcologies and Chaos system for, the I think, the true humans. Uh, maybe mutants have these as well. I'm not sure. Um, but they all give you different benefits and bonuses, like a horticulturist here, the to from the, uh, the toxic Aboretta of Akimeki, the holy city. That's the Arcology that these priests that these classes are from. And you can see what they give you. We'd get three extra intelligence. That's bonus skill points. We'd be more resistant to bleeding, have more intelligence. We would start off being able to harvest plants, being good with axe, and steady hands for bows and rifles. That's kind of a nice nice class. Self-sufficient it seems like. And a priest of sons. There's, there's what they have. Staunch wounds, snake oiler, intimidate. Um, you can, like I say, you can download and scout through these yourself. I'm actually just going to go ahead and be an artifacts right here. Because they start with tinkering, they they start being able to break down stuff. So we'll choose that. And, uh, yeah. 
And let's see, what will our name be? I think our name will be Plump Helmet here. That'll be our character's name. Might as well be. Let it initialize and build the world. The world is not random, as far as I know. I mean, it does have an overall layout. Uh, <clears throat> I'm not sure exactly what is completely random in this game and what is not. But here we are. Here's where we start the game, the little at symbol. And we start in the town of Joppa. Um, the first thing, you now before we start talking all the characters and everything, let's just go through a few of the screens here. If we press X, it'll bring up our status menu. And we can see how many skill points we've got, our attribute points. If you're a mutated human, you'll get mutation points to buy mutations with. Um, fun stuff all around. Press the 7 key on the number pad, and it'll take us over here to our skills and powers menu. As we level up and get skill points, we'll be able to um, expand our, our player's abilities and strengths. Let's see. As a, we start off as an artifact, so we start off with the skills in tinkering, gadget inspectors, disassembling, we can repair, broken items, deploy turrets, uh, tinker stuff, may build low tier recipes. So yeah, fun stuff all around. I like tinkering. I've never actually managed to gather all of the pieces required to build something, but hey, it's there. Um, this is the tinkering menu as we learn recipes and stuff. They'll be placed in here. And the bit locker are the parts that we salvage to build the tinkering items. Quests, the quests will be updated here on the quest screen, pretty obvious. And this is our equipment menu. Um, very easy to, to use and to go through. Let's see, right hand, you can see everything there. Worn on back, I need a cloak, dang it. Uh, maybe a backpack or something. Start off with, what did we start off with? Ooh, a musket. That's pretty damn good. And an iron longsword. That's good, too. Um, I guess you do start off with random gear. You can really get screwed. I've been screwed and start off with no items before. Or no weapons, anyways. Data disc. Um, this is for the tinkering. A data disc. It's an acid grenade Mark I. Um... We don't really need to build it yet. I want to learn the recipe, though. So we'll press enter and then go to learn. And we've learned how to build it. And I also want to learn how to build this electro bow. We'll learn that. There we go. And we start off with a couple grenades here that we're going to trade away. A torch. We start off with seven of those. 5,000 turns is a very, very, very long time, in my opinion. We'll never go through all seven of those torches. I'll die before that. Cracked lens. We can disassemble these into parts. So let's see, we disassemble the cracked lens and we get one scrap metal. I'm actually going to hold off on tearing down any scrap, any more scrap, until I level up and I bump up my skills a bit. Here's our status, all that, so there we go. Back to the tinkering menu. You can see, ooh, to build an acid gas grenade, all we need is scrap crystal and scrap metal. I've got one scrap crystal from tearing down the lens, I just need metal now. And the electro bow takes a few more things. Flawless crystal, pristine electronics, that might be hard to come across. Uh, we'll, we'll work towards that and get that built up at some point. Let's see. I think that's it. You can also, there's also shortcuts as P for your skills, I for your inventory, E for equipment. Very basic, uh, generic roguelike keyboard layout, which is what I like. It's easy to get into. You don't have to memorize a whole new layout if you're used to roguelikes. Um, but we're going to move up the road here. You can see somebody screaming, Piety compels you to deliver your sacred relics to the priests of the six days stilt. Cleanse them of your filth. And we'll just press C and then talk to the F there, to our west. His name is Mamet. Live and drink, friend. May you find shade in Java. Well, what can you tell me of Jabba, Mamet? You would be wise to speak with Elder Irudad. Look for his hut to the north. Okay, we will speak to him at some point. I am in search of work. What do you have for me? Some critters are eating our water vine. Farouk claims he saw one slinking around a vine patch. Ugly little thing, he says. Pale white, eight legs, an ear-splitting wine. I noticed a bit of red dirt in the water vine pool. The same we find in the soil at a nearby cave to the north we call Red Rock. Travel to Red Rock and kill as many of these critters as you can. Bring back the corpse of one as well. Elder Irudad will reward your efforts. You know what? We'll accept his quest. And we've received it. What's eating the water vine? And press Q to bring up our quest menu. And let's see. 
these are the steps that we have to go through. It'll place check marks in them as we complete them. Uh, we'll travel to Red Rock here in a moment. There's a few things more I want to do in town, though. We're going to actually level up before we get out of this hellhole. Actually, you know what? Joppa's not a hellhole. I take that back. This is an oasis of, uh, of tranquility. We should enjoy this place while we can. But this lowercase a here in this house, we'll talk to that. And it is Argiev. He's mumbling. Tensile strength of Reblon, but lacking a dino elasticity. Retro threading the M band would probably. Oh, I didn't notice you there. That's because I was ignoring you. He goes back to his mumbling. Noting a trace yield of synthetic linseed solvent, unexpected deviation from the clank constant. <clears throat> Must you disturb me? What are you, some sort of treasure hunter? At the very least, make yourself useful and bring me a knick-knack from one of the caves. I may even reward your efforts. And where can I find such a cave? There are caves everywhere, you dolt. This is good. Try the rust wells just east of here. You know what? Fine. I'll return with your knick-knack. And since we're a true human, we start off with knick-knacks. Knick-knacks are just uh, technological items. And we're going to give him one. So we finished that quest. We finished uh, fetch a knick-knack. And we'll talk to him again. You're standing in my light. What do you want? Here is your knick-knack. And we get to choose what to give him. Um, let's see. What do I feel like parting with? I'm not going to part with any of the cells. Cells, I think, are rather important. I don't much care for... You know what? I don't much care for the ego booster. Let's get rid of that. And we finished it. Yeah, 75 experience. And we've completed it. Mm-hmm. It appears you may be useful after all. And I'll go fetch me another trinket, dog. Of course, of course. And we automatically complete it because we've got the knickknacks in our backpack. I think this time we'll give away... How about a thermal grenade mark? Well, I'm actually going to give away the toughness booster. I don't think those boosters last forever. They're just small buffs, I think. And 150 experience. And that bumps us up to level 2. Six extra hit points and 122 skill points. And we've completed, completed that stage of the quest. Good, good. Quite impressive, treasure hunter. Maybe you're fit to poke around my workshop here. I've been wanting another apprentice. An unfortunate happen... An unfor so unfortunate what happened to Screef. Once with the disembowelment and all. It take a seat there, all right? Now let me explain. I'm on the cusp of grand discovery. When I'm done assembling the weird wire conduit, you'll be able to speak to anyone from here to Caiaphas. First, though, I'm going to need some copper wire, as much of it as you can find, at least 200 feet. You should be able to scavenge enough from the rust wells and in the nearby caves. As you say so, I'll go fetch your wire. I might as well. A little bit of exploring um, can only make you stronger if it doesn't kill you, I guess. But let's see, we did level up. Got 122 uh, skill points here. And what weapons did we start off with? A musket and an iron longsword. Okay. I actually want to bump up my um, my weapon skill starting out. We're going to be, since we started off with those weapons, we're going to level up long blades and uh, rifles. I'm just going to level this up first. Are you sure you want to buy long blades for 50 spe uh, skill points? Yes. That leaves us with 72. And there's pistol, self-discipline, tinkering, wayfaring. Let's see, there's one skill that I also want to have. We have 72 left over. I'm going to buy the skill harvestry. That'll allow us to harvest plants. Most important, it'll allow us to uh, harvest water vine, uh, which will be extremely useful early on. Do we buy it? Yes. And then it leaves us with 47. Damn. Um, I guess on the next level we'll have to buy harvest. You harvest useful plants from the earth. So I know how to harvest. I just can't harvest, I guess. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get to harvest eventually. Whoops, I went to the south. Um, ignore that little warning that popped up. We'll get to the world map here in a moment. There's uh, two other important people in this town. All the way over here to the east, um, in this little hut, is the trader. Tam, a dromad merchant. Welcome, human. What do you desire? What kind of creature are you? I am Dromad Human, a salt strider. And we'll just press the tab key to go over here, and uh, it'll open up the trade menu. 
Now let's see. He has lead slug. I'm gonna try to buy all of these lead slugs. Lead slugs work for your guns, of course. Shotguns are for shotguns, of course. Wooden arrows are basically for being worthless and getting yourself killed, from what I've noticed. What do we want to part with? Um, drams. Now, I, I don't completely understand the, the trade system here, so I may be a little bit wrong, but drams is not money. Drams is your fresh water. They, they do business in this world with uh, by trading fresh water. You can see our water skins here. We have three empty water skins. With any luck, we'll be able to fill those up at some point. And then we'll be rich, rich with fresh water. Um, so yeah, we'll buy 39 lead slugs for 1.86 drams. I'm not going to offer anything for it. You can see things get quite expensive. A weird artifact. An unknown artifact. You can press tab to see what the items are. A basic well-worn sword. Ooh, a scoped musket. Wow. This simple muzzle-loading musket is inaccurate but is sometimes used by the desert tribes. It has a scope, so this weapon has increased accuracy. See, so yeah, I will press the O key to offer it. You'll have to pony up two drams of fresh water to even up the trade, okay? Yeah, that's fine. Trade complete. Um, so yeah, I'll just back out of that menu. There's the trader. We'll be seeing him a lot as, uh, as we loot stuff and run back to part with it. What's that? Is that a chest? Let's see. This is not owned by you. Are you sure you want to open it? No. Because I'm sure as soon as I do open that, it'll be all like, Stop! Thief! Halt! Guards! And then we'll be chased out of town. There's a W. Let's speak to them. Warden Yulreg. Ain't they wishing they hot keep pumping? Move long if they do. Okay, fine. I don't want to talk to you anyways. Lawbringer. We'll leave him there. And this F in here is Elder Irudad. Live and drink, Wayfarer, and welcome to the Oasis of Joppa. Here you will find shade and vittle, along with other provisions to help you better scour the rust caves for treasure. Above all else, you may drink of our fresh water and quench your thirst. What can you tell me about Joppa? I'm new to the area, I guess. Joppa is an oasis hamlet nestled between the eastern reaches of the Great Salt Pans and the jungles of Cud. We are a community of water vine farmers. These groves lie along some of the few tracts of land tame enough to grow water vine. What can you tell me about the region Cud? Cud is a strange and terrifying mesa to the northeast. Her tainted rivers breed life in all its motley forms. Her poisoned jungles shelter priceless relics of a forgotten past. But that is just the half of it. For Cud's most precious treasures and her most hideous children lie within the innumerable chrome caverns beneath the scarlet loam. To ply those silver hollows, a spry adventurer's dream. The years have wisened me beyond such foolish ambitions. But you, be not deterred so. Well, that's it. We can see what else. Yep, that's it. I'm sure we'll be back to the Elder later for something. But you know what? That's it in this, ho in this town. There's no one else imp important to talk to, I don't think. All those other Fs, they're just regular water vine farmers. Water vine farmer says, moon and sun, wisdom and will. Uh, yeah. Okay, well, I'm actually going to save it here. I'm going to check all my recording settings, and whenever we come back, um, we'll go on our first grand adventure and get this quest underway. We're going to do what's eating the water vine first. Um, frankly, because I know how to complete this one, this is the quest I've finished and completed. And then maybe we'll try to find the weird wire conduit. Um, I'm not sure where the rust wells are. I think they're pretty far to the east, and I don't know if we'll ever make it there alive. So let's see. Save and quit. There we go. Yep, I'll be back. Okay, well, all of the audio levels should be good. Everything sounded decent. The music might have been too loud in some places, but I did adjust that. Um, you know, I think it's time we head north um, to start this quest what's eating the water vine now there are two ways you can get there you can either run to the north and uh, through the wilderness you can see it, it'll zone you to the next screen whenever you run to the edge building the new zone or you can press the minus key on your key on your number pad over there and it'll pull up the world map this is Joppa where we were since we've already walked a couple screens away and this is Red Rock where we're going this over here is the rust wells I believe and beyond that, I have never ever made it. 
So I'm sure these are all runes filled with great, great loot, wonderful equipment, horrible creatures. Um, this might be some type of decent river to get get water out of. I think this is the ocean or something. Maybe a shifting sand, a desert. I'm not sure. There's an, something out in the middle of the ocean. Maybe an oil rig. Maybe the enclave is there. Maybe we'll find out someday. But we're just going to go back down into this zone. And let's see. We're going to reload our musket. And we're being chased by an O here. Which is a boar. Easy, hostile. And behind it is a snapjaw scavenger. Snapjaws are all over this place. They're very easy solo, but if you, they get in a group, they get a swarming bonus, and that will rip you to bits. A despised race, the long-jawed hyena-like desert boogeyman is a brutal scavenger, preying on the weak of all the desert peoples. Well, we're going to use our musket here and to fire at the bull, at the, at the boar. We fail to penetrate its armor, we jam another slug into it, and we hack at the boar with our longsword. Hack it again. We flick our wrist and snap, slice the snap jaw down. Ooh, and the boar had a cracked lens in his belly. We cut it out. And we'll get that bronze longsword. Now see, that boar did a decent bit of damage to us. There's an E up there. The E's are friendly, I believe. I don't have to worry about them attacking us. And the kudzu is growing on the walls there. A kudzu stem. Let's see, can I pick that up? What's, what's it look like? A crunchy red celery-like stock. Let's just put it in our backpack for now. We're going to rest for, until we're healed for a bit. <sighs> no reason to charge foolishly around blind corners with low health so we can get killed. There's an E. Let's see. What are you, E? You're not, you're not an elf. It's an Equimax. The masculate of this strapping, tranquil beast is so pronounced that it looks as though the muscles themselves might burst through its rich auburn coat. Great tufts of white hair surround its massive hoofs, which it rears every so often while it grazes, and it can bite the living fuck out of you, so don't fight him unless you have to. Telescopic monocle rusted. We unequip it. I think the kudzu did something to us, you bastard. Do you destroy my my musket something? I'm not sure what that means. It might have damaged something I had on me. There's another E. Where are you at? <clears throat> snap jaws. Ooh, an R. A bloody horned chameleon, which are complete bastards. It's in perfect health, it's average, it's hostile, and yeah, they'll 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 kill me. What is that? Man, you damn horned chameleon. I'm gonna have to run all the way back to town if this thing's chasing me. And it's pitch black, it's dark. So let's see. Night time has fallen. Let's equip this torch. I'm going to equip it where the stun rod is. Put that on there. And the, it, it bites us for 5 damage. Go away, you cunt sucker. Hey, we're going to bleed to death. <laughs> Shit. Run away, run away, back to town so I can rest. And it gets some type of speed boost and catches back up to us. We're going to run head first into like a snap jaw encampment or something, I'm sure. Trailing blood all the way. We bash it, bash it again, bash it again, and we finally kill it for 125 experience. That is a lot. <sighs> we don't have to run back to town. Yeah, get swarmed by one of those in a snap jar or something and you'll die. Ooh, a chest out in the middle of the open. It's got an ego booster which we'll take and another torch, why not? Let's see, there's a snap jar. We charge it, slice it in half. Chainmail, nice. Let's equip that. We unequip our leather armor. Even though our leather armor, I think, has better protection than that did. I'm not sure exactly how these stats work out. We'll find out. Zero two for the leather, with a three thickness for penetration. Same as the chainmail, except the chainmail has a, a one there. I'm not sure if ones or twos in that location are better or not. Um, chainmail should be better though, so I'm just going to use it. An irritable tortoise. Let's open up with our musket. We hit it and we jam a shell into our, our emptied musket. We step back, fire again. Um, let's see. <clears throat> Start hacking it with our sword here. Have we even hurt it? It's badly wounded. And yeah, we've gained a level. Level 3. That'll make things easier. Um, let's see. Harvestry, I'm going to put 50 points into that. 
because before long we're going to run out of the food we started with, and I want to be able to harvest some back in Joppa from the water vines if need be. Long blade. Close that down, don't need it. And pistol, huh? Shield, short blades, tactics, self-discipline. Let's see. Where should we spend this 119 skill points? Butchery, so we could eat the corpses. Acrobatics. Dodging. As long as you carry no more than 50% of your maximum encumbrance, you gain a plus 2 to your dodge value. I don't know how often it is that we're going to be running around. Um, but not be completely encumbered like that. So no. I think we'll hang off on that. Shield, short blade, tactics. No. Wayfaring. Let's see. Scavenger? No, I don't need that. We can shrink that down as well. Man. I guess maybe for now I'm just going to hang on. Hang on to my skill points. I don't have enough strength to buy anything there except lunging and swipe. So yeah, I'll hang on to my skill points for another level. We're just going to continue to scout this zone out. This isn't where we need to go, I don't think. No, jump. the red caves are still to the north, checking the map there. So, um, let's see. Let's run that way. We're not going down into the caves yet. Oh, and a D, a feral dog. And a seed-spitting plant right there. We chop it down, a seed-spitting vine. Should we eat the dog corpse? I think we should. We eat it, that hits the spot. We're now bloated and quenched. But it saves us a little bit of food. Another feral dog. I think they're... We'll have to check them, but I think they get some type of swarming bonus too, the same as the snap jaws. They're a pack animal. They got that pack mentality of working together to bring down a target. Nice little corner there to hide in. To get trapped in more like it if you're running, scared through the dark. What time is it? It's 4 a.m. Sun will be coming up soon. More kudzu on the wall. Chop it down. Where's these stairs at? Guess we'll just keep running to the north. Did we go too far? No, a little bit further north then? We have finished. Travel to Red Rock. Here it is. Okay, there's the stairs right in the middle of the map. Travel down? Not yet. Not yet we won't. Let's see, anything over here? I just want to scout this out. A G. I think that's a goat. A stout billy with massive curved horns. It stands ready to defend its territory. If you're willing to try to fight it. Um, I'm gonna shoot shoot at it actually. Has no square, we fire. It takes two damage. We reload, fire again, that shot sells to the side. Reload another shell, that one sells to the side. Man, learn how to aim. Reload and fire again. It's injured, and we're going to charge it with our sword. It doesn't penetrate our armor, and we chomp him to bits. 25 experience isn't bad. That'll add up. The quicker we can gain these levels, the, uh, the easier these caves will be. Again, they're not hard, per se. There are some uh, named bosses in there, some rare mobs, I think, that will completely screw you up if you're not careful. If you don't take your time. <sighs> well, I guess down we go then. There's nothing else out here, and I don't want to scout around anymore. So we crawl down into the Red Rock Caverns. And as soon as we get down there, we flip our wrist, and that Snapjaw Scavenger dies. To get his bronze sword. Kill that, kill that one, kill both of them. Both of those Snapjaws drop. Ring Mail will take that. Bronze Maze, pick that up. And this little thing here, that's um, ambient creatures, it's a beetle bum. This giant beetle bears a bulbous orange shell and enormous mandibles with which it crushes and ingests everything in sight. Whoa. We just got hit hard with something. A bloody young ivory, a bloodthirsty plant of cud. The young ivory lurks beneath the surface until it senses a creature pass overhead. Then it unleashes a sharp tusk to impale its prey. Yeah, that's what happened to us, and it just speared us pretty good. So we chop it down at the root. We slice that bat down, bite its head off. And, um, I want to go back up top here. 
And we're gonna rest until healed, maybe. Can I? Am I being chased by something? There we go. You can get chased out of the dungeons. They they will the monsters will know. They'll chase you all the way back to town, I think. Pick up those leather moccasins. I think that's all the loot from them. Ooh, a, a chest. Two snap jaws around the corner, and we chop both of them down. Inside the disc is an ego booster data disc. And a weird artifact and an acid gas grenade. Sweet. We'll examine that artifact here in a moment. Leather moccasins will take that. Yeah, let's look at this. A weird artifact. We are an artifact, a tinkerer, so I know how to examine these things. Let's see. We make some progress understanding it and find out that it's a freeze grenade. A Mark I freeze grenade. Where's that data disc at? Huh. I'm not sure if I even really care about ego boosters. I might, might rather just sell this data disc for money. You know what? I'm just going to learn it for now. We learn how to build the, the, the ego booster. We kill this snapjaw. He had a copper nugget, which is good to trade for. A vine mask, a bronze sword, we'll take that. Here's a pool of water. Wow, fresh water. It was just ten drams, though, unfortunately. Not nearly enough to matter too much. It won't make us rich by any means. Pick up that axe, pick up that hat. And a jilted lover hanging on the wall. Ooh, a red S. A snapjaw hunter. They have bows, and they'll pluck away from you, or pluck away at you from a distance. Get that. Sword, bronze dagger. Uh, you know what, I'm going to pick up the bow. I can sell that later. Another jilted lover hanging on the wall. We chop it down, too. Well, the jilted lovers are all over the place. Ooh, an iron battle axe. Get that. And you know what, we need to rest in the corner. Oh, there we go. The tilled key will rest until you're healed, provided there's no monsters around. Let's see, a null worm skull. Let's take that. Take the bronze battle axe. How's our weight doing? We're up to 257. We're going to have to head back to town soon. We ought to pick up a beaded bracelet, which is great for trading. Traders love that stuff. And we sn completely destroy that jilted lover as well. Oh, is this more water? It's brackish water. Don't want to drink it unless you absolutely have to. A flaming iron mace. It has no energy cells in it, though. So it won't have the bonus. And, um... Yeah, I'm not going to use any of my energy cells for it. A vine wafer. Pick that up. In fact, I don't even know if I have a cell that I could use for that. They all take specific types of cells. Let's see. We've got a bat here. Snapjaw scavenger there. Chop both of them down. Maybe. Cloth overalls, iron dagger, pick that up. Bat corpse. Yeah, more jilted lovers. Rip them down from the wall. And then we should throw them into the campfire. Burn their bodies forever. Salty water, 2,000 drams of it. Of course there's a lot of salty water. I don't have a purifier. Um, cloth overalls, hand axe. Ooh, plenty of stuff here. Cut down that snap jaw and iron mace. Bronze dagger, get that. Bronze longsword. Nothing too rare, nothing too valuable. A worn burn noose. I don't think that's anything. 289 pounds. Let's see, we'll scout around this edge here. We're going to leave these tunnels for whenever we come back, though. We're going to run back to Joppa. Completely demolish that jilted lover. Yeah. Pull up the world map here and let's head south. There we go. Uh, we arrive at Java at 7 a.m. Let's use our harvest skill. And we pull it up, press A for the harvest skill, and then we just select a direction. These are vine wafers. We've selected to harvest them, and we harvest a bunch. It'll add up over time, and then we'll be thankful that we have them at some point, I'm sure. So let's see. We'll talk to Tam here, the Dromad. Welcome, human. What do you desire? Kind of want to get rid of some of this crap. All these wooden arrows that I've picked up. Bloody moccasins, no worm skull, ring mail, don't need it, studded leather armor. You know, actually, uh, I'm not sure if I should, no, ring mail, I'll just keep the chain mail. A rusted telescopic monocle, an oddly elongated magnifying monocle. It has a fitted leather head strap. I'm going to keep it, maybe we'll do something with it. 
combined soap mask. That those two are worth a lot. Those masks are. The Warren burn noose, nice. A kudzu stem. Keep it. Oh, it's just a corpse. Can I not eat it? I'll sell it anyways. And we got twelve food cubes, eleven vine wafers, plenty there. Plenty of grenades. And keep our torches, keep our injectors. And here's all the weapons that we've been looting. Look at all this. Bronze battle axe, we can sell all of this stuff, don't need it. Now, as far as I know, like I said, I think I've discussed this, I'm not sure. Um, you don't actually deal with money. Your drams, drams are water. Fresh water. You, you, you barter for, uh, for water, I guess. Let's see, short bow. I don't need it, I've got a musket. Don't worry about the cracked limbs. Lens. Trade. Beaded bracelet, get rid of that for 16 drams, damn. Two copper nuggets. We're getting pretty high up there. Let's see what he's got. Vine wafers, I'm just gonna buy all those. That's 0.29 drams, not bad. Bandage. I don't wanna buy those yet. A scoped musket, I would like to have that. And get rid of my other musket. What is my musket, where is it? Maybe I can't see it because I have it equipped. Well, we'll wait. With any luck, I will actually bump into a, a pistol or revolver or something. You don't have anything for us, do you, Tam? You're a worthless traitor. Shotgun shells, wooden arrows. Huh. All of that... Um, I guess we'll just offer it for him. He'll have to pony up 113 drams of fresh water. Is that fine? Yes. Fill up my water... My water, um, My water skins here. There we go. So we're up to 213 drams of fresh water. We can back out there. And let's see. These are all of the water skins we own. And you can see that as you fill them up with fresh water, they get quite heavy. But it's good to have the water. You never know when, when you're going to need it most. So let's get out of here. Plus it's good to barter with, right? Still on waiting for a harvest cooldown. Um, so yeah. I'm actually going to save it, and I'm going to take a break, and then whenever we come back, we'll go continue scouting through those caverns then. Okay, time to gather our wits then and go back down uh, and cave exploring. And just fast travel there, using the world map. Here we are. We arrive at 9 a.m. Early morning. Ready to spill blood. Let's see. Which one? Top path, bottom path, or middle path? We'll go the top one. And there's a blue S there. A Snapjaw Warlord. It's an Alpha Swarmer. Come back here. We reload our musket and fire. It takes 8 damage from the musket, and then we have to draw our sword and start slashing it. We kill it, yeah, and we gain level 4 from it. He didn't put up a fight at all. I assume because he was critically wounded from our musket bullet. We reload a lead slug into it. Damn seed spitting plant, jilted lovers on the walls. Dodge the seeds! We accidentally trip and kill a snap jaw with our sword. Kill another seed spitter. Let's see. So that ton, they all lead to the same room then. There we go. Another jilted lover on the wall, we chop it down. And let's rest. Let's see, what does that snapjaw have? Bronze maze for us, leather armor, we'll pick all that up. Continue scouting for the downward stairwell. Come here, snapjaw, quit running. We slam his head into the wall and take him down as well. And we automatically pick up a witchwood wreath, which is good for trading. Dreadroot there. Um, let's head north. A yellow S? A snapjaw brute. It's injured, easy, and hostile. We should be able to win this fight. Yep, he dies. His body's completely obliterated. The beetle bum might have actually ate it. Apparently the beetle bum was just waiting to get past that brute. The brute was demanding a toll. Oh, there's some water up there. Step back and heal. Take a seat, Snapjaw. Get that dagger. I don't know if the black robes trade for anything. 2,000 drams of salty water. And there's the downward stairwell. So let's see. Go scout over this room first before we head down. Snapjaw scavenger, dead. 
pick up a bent metal sheet, which is a, uh, a scavenging piece. Bandage, we'll take that. Um, let's pick up the slender hand axe, the boar skin gloves. Leave the body, I'm not about to try to eat it. Another witchwood wreath, thankfully, a club. Another club, pick all that up. Go trade that for more water at the merchant. Yeah, see, we're overwhelmed by terror. Even walking around the dread roots will occasionally make you flee. It can be very bad. Especially if it does it at the at the wrong time. Make you flee into an onslaught charge of enemies or something. Well, <clears throat> down we go. Looks like there's a beetle bum waiting for us. And a seed spitting plant. And a giant centipede. We chomp the centipede down and then we rip the seed spitter right out of the ground. There's a jilted lover in the corner. Might as well kill him while we can. Oh, shame I can't just tiptoe through here. Snap draw archer. Take him out. Pick up his arrows. Unfortunately, I, I, I should probably just... I wish there was an option not to pick up worthless arrows. And these X, these X's, that's a cave spider. A brown, spindly-limbed arachnid it spins its webs in anticipation of its next several mills. And we just corner it and beat it down. Not nearly as vicious as a giant cave spider. But, uh, they can still cause you problems. I've actually been killed by one. A hand axe, will take that. Sturdy bark armor, will take that. A bat corpse. Another snapjaw archer. Uh, we'll just take his, his dagger. Don't need anything else from him. Ooh, and a treasure chest that has a water skin in it. I suggest picking up every water skin that you come across, simply because they're also really expensive at the merchant. Wow. A Snapjaw Warlord. Got him cornered in the tunnel here. We strike him down. He had an electrified iron mace. Sweet. Let's see. It's worked from iron. The head of this mace bears six flanges with which it rends mail. It's electrified. When power, this weapon deals an additional one electrical damage. I'm not going to put a cell in it, but I will pick it up. And we'll sell it to Dram, or Tam. Bones, huh? I don't really want to take the bones. I don't know what good they would do for us. A bloody beetle bum. It's coated in snapjaw blood. What do we got here? A snapjaw brute. We push the beetle bum out of the way. And step up to take on the brute and chop him down too. Set around the corner and rest for a moment. Are there any other stronger snap jaws down here? Where are your leaders at? Surely it's not just brutes and archers. I know there's some purple named ones down here as well. More garbage. I think at some point with garbage, maybe with enough skills, um, you can actually scavenge through them. Pick up the clubs and stuff there. What's our weight doing? 289. Man, we might have to head back soon. I might just drop some of this stuff. Whoa, what is this? A giant amoeba. A mass of quivering, gelatinous slime. You barely perceive the outline of something inside. I do know what these do. These are kind of bad whenever you kill them. They s Yeah, see that right here? This pile that's flashing, moving? It's a pile of slime. And if you step in it, you slip and slide. Now, we killed him in a tunnel here. Not bad, his slime was contained. If we killed him out here, he might have dropped like a four or five tile wide pool of slime and we'd be slipping and sliding everywhere. Let alone when you get like four or five of those things all dying in one location. 309 pounds. We need to drop some of this stuff. So let's see. Leather armor. Drop it. That's 15 pounds. Sturdy bark armor. Drop it. It gives us a little bit more to work with. Let's see. I guess that's fine. I just really want to find the downward stairs before we go any further. Before I go back to sell stuff. Let's see. Picked up his wooden arrows. We're going to pick up his dagger, too. Pick up his mace. 294. Won't be picking up anything else. Unless we... Unless it's really good. There's the stairs. And what are you? A horned chameleon. I hate these things. Son of a... We're going to die, aren't we? It's going to chase us down and, and gore me to death. Um, do I have any way to heal? Insta heal, auto ejector. It hisses. I'm gonna use two of them, and then 
a freeze grenade, Mark One. We're going to equip it, and we stop bleeding, but only 13 health. Where is it at? Yep, we throw the freeze grenade there, and it's injured, it's frozen. Gosh dang it. It's badly wounded. Um, do I have anything else I can throw at it? It shouldn't be this damn difficult, but it is. Um, one bleeding damage. We'll throw the grenade right there. And we kill it. Gain 125 experience and we stop bleeding. Let's just sally around the corner here. And heal up for a bit. Um, get distracted. Take a sip of fresh water. A snapjaw finds us. And we chop him down. And now we can heal in peace. I hate these horned chameleons. These horned lizards and stuff. Two-headed boars and stuff like that. It's not the snapjaws that kill me. Oh no. It's always the damn wildlife. Campfire. And a wonderful bat. You know what? Let's eat the bat. We pick up the bat's corpse and we bite his head off. We eat it. It tastes like rat meat. It's better than nothing. A small glimmering tube inside this chest. Wooden arrows and short bow. Give me a pistol or something. Something I can use. Another chest. A freeze grenade. Sweet. And another water skin. And that's it for this level. I'm not going to go down just yet. We're going to go back to town and sell after we scout out these tunnels. Brackish water. What are you? A snap draw warrior. Easy, hostile. We should be able to kill him. Should be. And we level up. Level 5. Three additional hit points and plenty of skill points. He dropped a bark armor, a bronze short sword. I'll leave that there. Whoa. And of course, a young ivory. We chop it down. I think. Or maybe it just pops out of the ground and then it's done doing its thing. Okay, we're gonna rest. Get out of here. Go back to the merchant. Sell some stuff. And then head down into the underground. Let's see. There we are. I think it'll be, what, level 3 that we head to? Um, hang on, dogs are fighting again. Okay, I'm sure they'll go crazy again soon. I'll have to take another break and go stop them from killing themselves. But until then, um, let's just head to the south here. And go sell our stuff. Oh yeah. Don't want to leave town. There there are various regions around town that we could go explore if I so felt like it, but I don't. Um, Tam, Dromad, Merchant. Yeah, there we go. We'll trade that. Get rid of all these wooden arrows. Black robe, boar skin. I'm still going to keep that monocle. Let's see, an unknown artifact. That's probably something like a health pack or something. We'll examine it here in a moment. Uh, I'm going to keep all the grenades. Those were pretty useful. We'll sell all these weapons here. Let's see, battle axes, all this bronze crap. We have four daggers, jeez. Long sword, bronze maces. An electrified iron mace only goes for 2.52 drams. Probably because it doesn't have a cell with it. And they don't want to have to worry about finding one. A simple recurve bow made from the stiff leg bones of a salt hopper. It's lacquered. It means it cannot rust. I'm going to sell it anyways. I'm going to keep the scrap. Break that down to parts for um, tinkering and building. Trade goods. Two witchwood wreaths. Witchwood twigs. Paired and twisted into a decorative wreath. Could wear it on our head if we so felt like it. But I don't. And he's... Tam still hasn't, um, still hasn't got any new items. Short bow, no, no, no. Canteen, huh? An aluminum jug sheath and an olive green cloth. And the water skin is simply a goat's bladder knotted at the bottom and suspended by a strap of intestine. Whatever works. We'll offer it to him. He doesn't have 44 drams of fresh water to even up the trade. Are you sure you want to complete it? No. Um, let's get something else. He has some food for us, doesn't he? Somewhere, maybe? No shotgun shells. How about bandages, then? He only has 24 drams. Offer that. He'll have to give us 15 drams of fresh water? That's fine. Get some bandages for stopping the bleeding, even though I don't think I have the medical skills for it yet. Um, to worry about the bleeding being stopped. Head back to the rust caves here. 
We're almost to the bottom level, I think. If I remember correctly from whenever I actually com completed this quest, there's only three levels that we have to go through. My torch burned out. Yeah, that's not good. As you can tell, it's completely black in here. Um, equip that automatically. There we go. Um, okay, I still do have my longsword equipped. That's good. I wanted to make sure that wasn't replaced. Some salty water. Wash our hands off in it before we go any further. There's still a jilted lover right there. Yeah, chop it down. Five experience. You know what? There's another one here. Might as well complete it for uh, you know completionist's sake. There we go. Okay, so now we're down on the third level of Red Rock. It's 9 a.m. and we are surrounded by. A giant centipede, a snapjaw scavenger, a salt hopper. I don't. Maybe they'll all attack us. We'll find out. Let's see. We. S we are getting mangled. Let's go back up. Um, anybody coming up here to chase after us? Maybe not. We'll just pass a few turns here and try to heal up. Oh, actually, you no. Know go around the corner. There we go. Pretty damn dangerous. I was not expecting there to be that many right around the stairs. Um, can I not go down? Something might be blocking us. So let's see, we kill that uh, snap jaw, kill that one, kill that one, that one. Now we're just surrounded by mean things. And let's just wait on this. Oh no, we died, I think. Actually, yeah, we're dead. Shit. Um, I guess that's it. We're dead. Killed by the bloody giant scorpion centipede from the stairs down below. Well, son of a bitch. I guess that's it. Um, yep. Maybe, can I get my game over screen here? Probably not, because I, I died in a weird way. Nope. So, don't try to rest and don't try to sleep on top of stairs, or you will still die. It's still resting until healed, it says. So, Kind of a glitch, kind of a bug there. Maybe that was supposed not supposed to happen. I don't know. Um... Yeah. <clears throat> Whenever I come back, then we'll make a new character. Uh, maybe I'll do a mutated character, and we'll we'll try to run around a little bit overpowered, so I don't have to run like a pussy from every little creature that has a horn on its head. I'm gonna quit for now, though.